hi everyone today i will be discussing with you the transport maximum and renal threshold so we will start with the definition of transport maximum so transport maximum denoted by tm it is the maximum rate at which substance can be transported now what do you mean by this that tm is the maximum rate at which substance can be transported let's understand this by a simple example that if we have glucose and glucose need to be transported from the proximal tubule since from proximal tubule occurs the 100 percent transport of glucose in normal condition so there is a maximum rate at which glucose can be absorbed and why this is so this is because of saturation of the transporters and what are the transporter in the case of glucose those are the SGLT2 transporters so saturation of the transporters in the PCT for the glucose lead to the saturation of the transport for glucose and this maximum rate at which the substance is transported is known as transport maximum and next concept is renal threshold now renal threshold is the concentration of substance in plasma at which the substance starts appearing in urine so we will start understanding this by this graph okay so in this graph we have plasma glucose concentration which is denoted in milligram per dl or milligram per 100 liter and here we have filtration load the basic thing you need to know is that the filtration load is defined as the glomerular filtration rate into plasma glucose means gfr kitna hai or plasma mein glucose ka kitna concentration hai defined in the terms of 1 milligram per ml or as we say 100 milligram per deciliter so in normal condition when the GFR is 125 ml per minute and the plasma glucose concentration a mean plasma glucose concentration in normal individual which is 100 milligram per dl the filtration load comes out to be 125 milligram per minute okay and at this filtration load no glucose appears in urine so let's draw the graph so this is plasma glucose concentration of 100 milligram per m per dl and this is the glucose filtration load so as the plasma glucose concentration increases to 100 ml the filtration load comes out to be 125 ml per minute this is the normal thing that is equivalent to GFR now as we go further uh, say a condition of diabetes mellitus and say the plasma glucose increases to 200 milligram per deciliter so 200 milligram per deciliter or you can say 200 milligram per 100 ml or you can say 2 milligram per ml so if this is the concentration of glucose and we calculate again the filtration load by GFR into the plasma glucose concentration it comes out to be 250 milligram per minute so then the, let's go again into the graph and this time the plasma glucose concentration being 200 so if the plasma glucose concentration is 200 and when the glucose filtration load increases see 200 plasma glucose concentration still now the glucose filtration load is increasing this being the straight line but this time as the plasma glucose concentration reaches 200 some of the transporter reach their transport maximum and the glucose starts appearing in urine now this glucose that start appearing in urine 
is not the transport maximum. This is because not the every nephron has same transport maximum. Now as we go further in the plasma glucose concentration increases more there comes a concentration at which the glucose filtration load reaches 375 milligram per minute so when the glucose concentration reaches 375 milligram per minute all the transporters all the transporters are saturated so when all the transporters are saturated no more glucose will be absorbed reabsorbed this is the level at which reabsorption was occurring and after this no glucose reabsorption will occur and what will only occur will be the excretion so the basic thing you need to understand from this graph is that at 100 milligram per deciliter the glucose filtration load was 125 milligram per minute or 125 ml per minute and at this concentration the saturation was not reached but in the case of diabetes mellitus or any pathological condition when the glucose concentration reaches 200 the Sorry, when the glucose concentration reaches 200, glucose starts appearing in urine. But this is not the transport maximum. The transport maximum is another concentration when the glucose is above 250 milligram per deciliter. So when the plasma glucose is 200 and the glucose starts appearing in urine, but at this concentration not all the nephrons have reached their transport maximum but some have reached and that's the reason why glucose is coming in urine but at the concentration when transport maximum is 375 milligram per minute all the neurons nephrons have reached their transport maximum